Hi, how are you? My name is Brandon Aragon, and uh, the sports organization I'll be talking about today is the Triple CAA. Uh, the Triple CAA is the governing body and organization for JUCO sports in California. It's just only the state of California. Um, this is a special organization to me because I transferred from a junior college, and my junior college was in California. So I played baseball under the Triple CAA. Um, so a little bit of background, um, the Triple CAA was founded in 1929, and uh, the main goal was to <clears throat> unify California teams, excuse me. Um, so um, one thing you might be wondering is why is the Triple CAA specifically in California, where like the NCAA is nationwide? Um, so the explanation for that is there's the Triple CAA and there's the NJCAA. The NJCAA, which stands for National, National Junior College Athletic Association, is made up of all the JUCOs throughout the nation, throughout the entire nation, minus the state of California. So if you take all the junior colleges throughout the whole nation, minus California, there are 187 of those. Now you take just California alone, there are 87 more of those junior colleges. So you can see a little bit of a problem, there's too many JUCOs for one certain organization. There's almost as many JUCOs in California as there are in the whole rest of the nation. That's where the Triple CAA comes in. So California, they play for just a state championship, whereas the rest of the nation plays for the national championship. Um, now, that might sound weird, but the other thing is that California produces some of the best athletes in the nation. So it kind of evens out. Yes, they're only playing for a state championship, but it could be argued that that championship is harder to win because some would argue that there's better athletes in the state of California. Um, now, I was just talking about the NJCAA, but the Triple CAA stands for California Community College Athletic Association. And for some people who may not know, um, a community college is um, most of the time a two-year school and students go there to earn their associate's degree. You cannot earn your bachelor's or your master's or any other degree above from a community college. You can only earn your associate's degree. So with that being said, it mostly ranges um, from students ages freshman to junior. Um, so most of the athletes at these schools are freshmen and sophomores. Um, as far as charitable work that they do, um, they donate to a lot of youth programs throughout the state of California. Um, youth and high school programs, and they also do a lot of internal work. So coming with a community college, only a two-year school, it's also a lot cheaper, which means there are a lot of athletes that can't necessarily afford the nicest equipment or the right cleats or everything that they need to go along with playing college baseball. Um, so the Triple CAA does a lot of work to uh, help teams maybe provide cleats or, you know, practice shirts, nicer jerseys, things like that for uh, these teams, um, which I think is pretty cool. I got to reap a little bit of the benefits of that when I got some cleats from my old school. Um, so I also did a quick SWOT analysis for the Triple CAA. Uh, as far as strengths go, the biggest strength that I thought was that it's a very competitive organization. Um, California produces a lot of great high school athletes. Um, so coming out of high school, a lot of them end up in the triple CAA and um, it's, a, it's a fight, fight for a spot on a team for sure. A lot of people want to play in this organization um, and it's very competitive. So I think that's one of the largest strengths of the organization for sure. Um, as far as a weakness, they only compete for the state championship, which some may see as less of an accomplishment or something that might not be as hard. Um, seems a little less important maybe um, to people who aren't directly involved. So uh, that could be definitely considered a weakness to some people. Um, opportunities, I mean, there's always opportunities to expand. I think it would be a good idea if they maybe expanded across the whole West Coast. So maybe if they were to uh, adopt the junior colleges in Oregon and Washington, that way maybe there's even more of an even ratio between the Triple CAA and the NJCAA. Now in that case, they might have to change their name, but it's still an opportunity for expansion for sure. Um, as far as threats go, I mean, the NJCAA, in my opinion, could always be a threat. Um, they could absorb the triple CAA. There's more teams in the NJCAA. And then it would, and 
eliminate the weakness of the triple CAA and it would cause all the California teams to compete for a national championship now. Um, so um, I think that would definitely be a good thing for junior college baseball, but it would be a bad thing for the triple CAA, obviously. Um, as the triple CAA offers many different sports. So men's sports, they offer basketball, baseball, cross country, football, golf, soccer, swimming and diving, tennis, track and field, water polo, and wrestling. Um, so that's a lot of men's sports. As far as women's sports go, they have badminton, basketball, beach volleyball, cross country, golf, soccer, softball, swimming and diving, tennis, track and field, volleyball, and water polo. So very wide variety of sports for men and women to play. And the men and women in each of those sports can each compete for a state championship in the state of California. Uh, so to wrap things up, um, I think the Triple C AA is a very necessary and well-run organization. Um, they treat their players well, um, treat their players with respect, and um, they protect their players as well. The rules change with the times and player safety, um, and it all really reflects that. Um, they also really promote competitiveness, which I think is one of the most important things, especially once you get into higher levels of baseball. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed my presentation on the Triple C AA. And I enjoyed, I really enjoyed this class with you and I learned a lot. So thank you and have a good rest of your semester.